The importance of working with great people. My name is Anna Oliver, and when you think of real estate, I want you to think of me. So today I'm actually excited. I'm filming at our office, our Toronto location at 378 Fairlawn Avenue. And we're a busy office. So if you hear some background noise, please forgive us because we're busy painting the town red. The benefit of when you hire a great realtor, they're probably surrounded by great people. I was representing a buyer on a condo. Everything went smooth. The offer was accepted. The listing agent was fantastic. Almost too good to be true. And we know when it's kind of easy at the beginning, we always know something else is going to happen. When we write an offer on a condo, there are usually conditions or contingencies. Now in this case, because we were the buyer, the seller has to provide us with condo documents. The condo documents are reviewed by the lawyer. So I have a great lawyer and if it weren't for him, I don't know what would have happened. What was interesting about this condo, it's it's been around for a while, let's say about 30 years or so. So not a new building and there were definitely specific addresses. Now what makes this interesting is we put an offer on say 9A and there's also 9B and 9C. So when you receive the condo documents, it's usually the address and the unit. And anybody who's ever reviewed condo documents, it's not obvious what, what they're about. There's legal descriptions, there's level numbers, there's unit numbers, suite numbers, you can imagine. That's why we always need a great lawyer behind us. And I get a call from my lawyer and he says, Anna, you sent me the wrong condo documents. And I said, what? What do you mean? No, 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 that's the one that was provided. Well, what had happened was, the unit that was for sale had actually been owned by the neighbor. And for the last 30 years, the people who lived in say unit B actually owned unit A. And it was definitely something I'd never come across. And it was the attention to detail that the lawyer had and he caught it. So I spoke to the listing agent and he said, well, you know, we can just do an amendment and change. It's like, no, 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 it's not that easy. It's actually a complicated transaction. Now we have to go back 30 years to transfer the ownership. So if it wasn't for that great lawyer behind me, we wouldn't have found out and it could have been a mess. If you think about it, the people who owned the home actually didn't live in the home and they never owned it for the last 30 years. So it had been a mistake that had been overlooked for 30 years by several other lawyers and other realtors. So I was very lucky and my client was very lucky that we had a great lawyer on our side and we were able to get this wonderful property for him. But if it wasn't for that great lawyer, I don't know where it would be now. The difference between a good realtor and a great realtor, a good realtor might get you the home, a great realtor will protect you in the long run. If you want to see more and to stay in touch, make sure to follow me on my socials or check out my website at annaoliver.ca.